This is a maxed out troll base, and this is a level 1 troll base that I took to bronze league to prank everyone who wanted to steal my gold. And I got to say, the result was absolutely hilarious. By the way this is Jeffrey, his favorite hobbies are eating, and pooping. His dream before he dies, is to eat a 5 course meal cooked by a Michelin star chef. Well, it's his lucky day because it happens to be that after watching 11 YouTube tutorials how to cook a perfect egg I have been granted a Michelin star so it was time to fulfill Jeffrey's dream. This is a Michelin star 5 course meal plan I am going to prepare for Jeffrey and I really hope he likes it. So Jeffrey, here is your one bite horse to VRs. It's pronounced one bit or dev. Oh okay I am sorry. Here is your one bite horse to VRs. Which is a caramelized broccoli with garlic. Enjoy monsieur. While Jeffrey was munching down the broccoli I was nervously wondering whether he is gonna raid my restaurant with 5 stars or not. Because if he is not going to like my food then I will lose my Michelin star. The first person arrived with punch of bubble blondies and several steaming hot piles of heavy metal who were all willingly ready to get showered with Jeffrey's excrement as they were quickly moving up the toilet hole to meet the king and queen who were desperately trying to tell the visitors not to come here until it's too late. And late it was as Jeffrey's digestive system had done its job and now all the poo poo was flying right towards the heavily armored units. Despite the highest effort by the HP regenerators to keep steamy girls alive they couldn't make it as the smell was too strong for their massive mononostrils. Then things got real messy when a small family of mom, dad, grandpa, and 15 kids were so thirsty that they came to steal the toilet water but Jeffrey was in no mood to share it as he immediately started eliminating the intruders one by one. The queen obviously enjoyed Jeffrey's brand new Chanel Blue de Chanel Eau de Perfume so much that she fainted even before the sprinkle of it could even touch her skin so the old man got his opportunity to finally smell good. Even after everyone else had left the father was still working hard trying to provide for his family but also his time was about to run out so he quickly measured how much strawberry smoothie they got and then he left. Next up I had prepared a ginger green bean fries with wasabi dipping sauce. Here you go monsieur. What do you think I am some sort of vegan that you bring me only vegetables? This is only the appetizer. Soon I will bring you something heavier. Okay. Great. Since Jeffrey was used to eating meat only his stomach got slightly blocked from all the vegetables as nothing was coming out even after second visitor up until another person came with the sole purpose of stealing Jeffrey's toilet water. It seemed so that Jeffrey's toilet water was quickly becoming as popular and demanded as Belle Delphine's path water so Jeffrey came to an only obvious conclusion that he would start asking some money for it but Project's layer was an absolute brokey so he left before the products of the gingered green beans arrived to ask for the one time fee. Then someone tried to completely destroy Jeffrey's toilet by attempting to borrow that golden seat but luckily Jeffrey still had some green beans in his tummy that scared the hell out of the visitor as he left even before he started his attack. Ironically never believe anyone actually believed in this troll base as he stole himself an absolute fortune that he can use to max out his base. By the way have you ever eaten an egg cooked by a chef with a Michelin star? If you want that tomorrow morning there would be a plate with a tasty egg on your kitchen table then like this video in 5 seconds and I will personally bring it to you. 100% legit not joking at all. Since keeping my Michelin star was very important to me I had to make sure I will surprise Jeffrey with the next one so I hit up my guy Gordon Ramsay for a top tier receipt and he sent me the Gordon Ramsay special spicy beef salad. How do you like it Jeffrey? I love it. Magnificent. Finally things started warming up between me and Jeffrey until the boss arrived who loved Jeffrey's toilet so much that he wanted to take it with him to Los Angeles not knowing that the man sitting on it just ate the spiciest salad in the world causing a diarrhea like no other. So blinded from the golden toilet seat the boss kept sending in those green guys straight out of punk rock festival without noticing that his investments are not bringing any returns. Then he did a big brain move by distracting Jeffrey's doo doo for a second allowing his green guys to sniff the big black poo for a few more times until another customer came to buy the toilet water that unfortunately was sold out so he had to try and ask the king and queen when the toilet water is gonna be available again. 
looking straight away said come back tomorrow but this 8 year old didn't wanna listen and still tried to break into the castle so the king had to teach him a lesson by giving him a bum bum slap. Since it was time for the king to take a little nap then the queen took over to send back all the visitors who didn't understand the sign we are out of stock. Now it's time for the big one, the one people typically wait the most, which means I can't screw that up. What did you just fed me? It was beef burger with stilton rabbit monsieur. That was good, can you get more of it? Oh yes of course. After I brought him another one he was ready to share the digested version of it with the visitors. Here is Mr. Zondap with a very complex attack strategy where he is carefully deploying his troops one by one in attempt of stealing my pink cream cheesecake but obviously he didn't know his troops are lactose intolerant so they all run as far from it as possible. Then Jeffrey greeted Zondap's troops with his number to that this time was a lot bigger than usually and in fact so massive that it probably had more hit points than all of the defenses in this base combined. After all the troops gathered around admiring the big doo doo it exploded into three poo poos that all went to say hello to the girl who is tickling their HP bars with her tiny arrows that barely make any damage. Even though the king had other plans for tonight as he was purchasing that toilet water then he got distracted as it was his time to deal with these two stinkers meanwhile the floating old man received a tiny gift from one of his own troops that sent him back to the regeneration office. Soon after stealing 66 liters of toilet water the king followed the old man. As we all know every once in a while toilet pipes need to be cleaned and because of that I invited over the toilet cleaning services who were swinging their brushes until almost everything was nicely mopped. Job was so well done that Jeffrey had to send another excrement on the way that eventually handed the hard working cleaners their well deserved holiday in Bora Bora's cemetery. The deciding moment had finally arrived as I took the blueberry ice cream to my friend Jeffrey to fulfill his dream. So how did you like my 5 course meal? You will give it up. But then someone started attacking Jeffrey, someone who used electro dragons, the troops that take years of practice to master. Yes guys first of all the toilet wall got destroyed so now everyone were able to see how Jeffrey is doing his number 2. Then all the air defenses got destroyed meaning that the situation turned to be pretty critical as even Jeffrey had to let loose his air biscuits for the first time of being in the restaurant. Which was very very embarrassing but vital for survival. Unfortunately though the intestinal gases wasn't enough because the dragons were equipped with many bottles of nitrous oxide allowing them to accelerate a lot faster. Luckily though the blueberry ice cream was so cold that Jeffrey defecated to ice cubes to slow them down which indeed worked as the dragon started taking group photos with the mother of dragons. Once I realized that Jeffrey is still getting absolutely murdered I quickly asked how many stars will you give me and he said. My dear friend, I am going to give you Here is a secret playlist with similar videos that only you can open. Check it out for plus 10 IQ.